Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, your iPhone 12 Dolby Vision to a more compatible HDR10 for when uploading to YouTube. They'll play on more devices like Roku or Chromecast. Uh, I'll be doing this with Aces and DaVinci Resolve Studio. And before I start rambling on, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And uh, as you can see, I've got some video loaded up here. And we're going to go into the settings. So you can see how I have things set up. Here's my master settings, 4K, 24 frames per second. Oh, this stuff right here in the video monitoring. Uh, in color management, this is where I do my work. Um, using Asus CC, Asus version 1.2. The device transform, I leave at Rec 2020. Uh, they do have a input device transform for Rec 2020 HLG. I found using this, especially with like low light video, nighttime video, it introduces some like sparkly, glittery type noise. Uh, so I just, I found that setting it here, everything works wonderfully. Um, 15 nits, I pretty much, leave, this is pretty much all. I do set graphics light level to 203 nits. I, I read somewhere that's where the, uh, for HDR, that's the light level. Um, Display on HDR viewers if available. I leave that 1000 nits. Enable HDR 10 plus. Why? Just for the heck of it, I guess. And then, so let's go into, and you can see it just, if I go back to and just reset this to using just, you know, DaVinci, you see how everything kind of blows up a little bit. But if, once I try to change it back to, you know, Aces, you just, it's almost like a night and day. Let me change that back to 203. And da da da. Those are all the changes I really need to make. You can see the difference. Um, and it's, by the way, this is also good for Rec 709. You can take this up to HDR. So if you have like a iPhone 11, iPhone 10, and you want to get into doing the HDR video, you have a way of doing it with this. Um, and then from there, I normally go in and do my little color grade, you know, maybe add a little contrast. And I'm just doing this real quick. And then about there, bring a little gain down a smidge. And from here, I have a couple of creative butts I like to use. So I will, now when you're working with Aces, Here's the weird part. I'm actually going to transfer this back to Rec 709. Let's go ahead and get some those going. So that's my color space transform. I use two LUTs and another color space transform. So like I said, I'm going to transfer this to Rec 709 because most of the creative LUTs I've come across uh, are designed for Rec 709. So we're going to take it down. Da, 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 da. Rec 709, and then I just come in and I just go ahead and automatically set these two because those be kind of you're kind of booking it in. So we'll this this last node will train change it back to um, HDR. So you kind of you know book in the, the, the LUTs into that. And then my first one, this is kind of like a Technicolor type look, and then I'll give it a teal and orange. That I will then dial back just a smidge. And there we go. So now you can start, and then from there you can add some nodes and maybe give it uh, film grain as soon as I find it. I could search, but I'm too lazy. There we go. Film grain. And I like 35 million here. And there you go. And so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you did, and catch you in the next time. Peace.